everybody, it's Reckless, and welcome to Breaking the Fourth Wall. So, the Destiny 2 gameplay live stream ended earlier today, but by the time this video is released, it will be several hours after the reveal. And that's because I wanted to make sure I got every piece of info correct. So, warning, there will be spoilers in this video if you haven't seen the reveal. We have a lot of things to cover, so let's get started. First and foremost, let's get a few things out of the way. There will be new armor, weapons, and exotics. There will be new public events, strikes, story missions, night falls, as well as a new raid. We will have the same enemies, i.e. in the original Destiny, like the Vex, Fallen, Hive, and the Cabal. However, each of these enemies will have a new look, new abilities, as well as we will be fighting new bosses. I will break this video up into four different sections, PvE, PvP, subclasses, and character UI, but it will not be in that very order. Also, I will put timestamps in the description, that way you can go to the section that interests you the most. So, starting with PvE. According to Luke Smith, Destiny 2 will be, quote, a world that pulls you in, with amazing things to do, and you will always have someone to play with, end quote. These are the foundations of what Bungie wanted Destiny 2 to be like. Dominus Gall, aka Gary! The leader of the Red Legion has taken the light from us and has encased the Traveler, and it is our job to get it back. Quote, Gaul was raised as a little turd, just a little guy, to believe that he and the Red Legion should have been chosen to receive the Traveler's power. Gaul believes in a better class of Guardian. He believes that the Traveler made the wrong choice in choosing us Guardians, end quote. With that said, the story mission will be called Red War Campaign and Homecoming will be our first mission and our first steps into the world of Destiny 2. Zavala is helping everyone to get back on their feet. Cade went to go be a hero and he obviously failed. And Ikora left and we need to go find her. Now, in the beginning, all of the Vanguard have their powers, but we will eventually lose it once the Traveler is fully sealed. The Invert Spire is a new strike and will have a three-stage boss. Now, I'm not sure if each stage happens periodically during the strike or if the three stages are one after the other at the end of the strike. We can now launch all of our activities without having to go to orbit, which is definitely a plus. There is still patrols, ambient encounters, materials, and chests for us to find, and public events that now have heroic objectives. Ikora, if you we will get friend, adventures, treasure maps for us to follow, as well as lost sectors. We are going to meet many new characters like Hawkthorn, and I will talk about her later on, that will help us on these adventures, or that will send us on these adventures. The adventures are filled with new mechanics, new encounters that take us to new places, each having their own rewards to make your guardian stronger. Now, Lost Sectors are dungeons with a boss that we will have to defeat in order to get a key that unlocks a cache of loot. Most likely, these won't be easy. The new map will help us guide everything in Destiny 2. The map lets you search for Lost Sectors, complete adventures, and also rally to public events. We will have four new worlds to explore, and they are Titan, which is a moon of Saturn, the European Dead Zone on Earth, the Nessus, which is a planet that is almost completely transformed by the Vex, and then we have Io, a moon of Jupiter, and this is the last place that the Traveler touched before the collapse happened. Our social space will be called Guardian Camp. In this camp, we will actually be able to play soccer, like the American soccer, or football if you're in a different country. They actually have nets, and those nets shoot firecrackers when you score a goal. So the next thing we're actually going to be talking about is the character UI. In this section I will talk about weapons, stats, as well as some of the perks we see. We will have a new weapon plan that is made up of kinetic weapons, energy weapons, and power weapons. Now power weapons are things like fusion rifles, sniper rifles, and introducing grenade launchers. Luke Smith said, and I quote, in the energy slot and the kinetic slot, you can have the same weapon, end quote. So, 
That means you can have a hand cannon in either of those slots, but only in the energy and power slots can you have elemental damages on them. Now, new perks have been added to the weapons as well. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but the Dubious Volley, which is an arc exotic rocket launcher that was data mined since the Taken King was also shown. Now, you can activate the perk Kill Clip when you switch to the Dubious Volley. Don't know what it actually does though because they definitely changed a few things around with the Dubious Volley from when it was that amount. In the character UI screen, we have on the top a Records Clan character inventory and settings tabs. Glimmer and Legendary Shards are still a thing, and instead of seeing your intellect, discipline, and strength on your character UI, we now see armor, agility, and recovery. Given that the light of the character shown is 260, I'm guessing that the max level light is 300, but don't quote me on that. Also, swords will make a return in Destiny 2, and no, I am not talking about the Warlock subclass. Speaking of subclasses, that's what we're going to talk about next. Each class gains a weapon upon activating your super. We also have a new ability slot next to the grenade and melee slots for each character. The Warlock's new super is called Dawn Blade, and you get a sword that you can slam on the ground or hurl fire at your opponent. The Warlock also gets an ability called Healing Rift, which starts to heal you upon activation, and that's the extra slot for the Warlock. The Titan super is called Sentinel, and you are given a shield like Captain America, which defies the laws of gravity. This shield can be used offensively and defensively, as you can use the shield to attack or block, like we do with swords now. The Titan also gets an ability that allows you to raise a shield wall, which also goes in that extra slot, like I mentioned earlier, next to your grenades and melee. The Hunter's new super is called Arc Strider, and they summon a staff that you can do crazy ninja turtle acrobatic moves as well as slams. One confirmation that I can say about our old subclasses is that if you look at the live stream at 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 10 seconds, you can see a striker titan use his titan smash, then follow up with a shoulder charge on a few falls. When you look at 1 hour, 53 minutes, and 59 seconds, we get to see a Voidwalker Warlock use a Nova Bomb, and on 1 hour, 56 minutes, and 1 second, you can see a Gunslinger throw a Throwing Knife. So, this confirms that three of the original subclasses will return. Unfortunately, those are the only original Destiny Supers that was showcased. So the next thing I actually want to talk about is PvP. Now, very little was said about the Crucible, but from what we do know, the Crucible has been completely rebuilt. Whether that is entirely true remains to be seen. Crucible is now 4v4 across, and I quote, all game modes, end quote. So, I'm assuming this includes Trials of Osiris as well. We will get a new HUD in PvP that tells us about our opponents, including if they have their super or not, or whether they picked up Power Hammer. There is also new maps as well as new game modes, and one of the new game modes for PvP that we will be getting is called Countdown, which is the first ever attack and defend mode in Destiny, and I'm assuming it's like search and destroy for Call of Duty. And as for my last bit of news, official clan support is coming to Destiny 2. That means that Bungie is adding in-game rosters, tools to build your fire teams, custom banners, and a reward system that is shared between every member in the clan. This clan system helps everyone in the clan out, even if they can't make it to the activity. Okay. Now, the Guided Games is another new feature to Destiny 2 that, in short, match makes you with a clan that you get to choose in order to do activities in the game with. There will be new dances, as well as new emotes. Heck, even ammo reserves get a new look. Now, for the last few bits of Destiny 2 info 
that I got from the reveal is that Destiny 2 will be played at 4K and from what I got in an interview from Luke Smith, it will also be only at 30 frames per second. Now, it kind of sucks, but hey, whatever. Uh, also, this backpack that Hawthorne is wearing is the same one from the Collector's Edition of Destiny 2. And for you awesome PC Master Race people out there, Bungie and Activision has teamed up with Blizzard Entertainment to bring Destiny 2 for PC exclusively through Battle.net, which is Blizzard's online gaming service. Now, if you guys wish to watch the full Destiny 2 gameplay live stream, then I will post it soon after this video and put a link to it in the description. That video will include all of the pre-live stream interviews, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, share it if you felt it was helpful, subscribe and turn on your notifications in order to keep up to date with all of my videos. Thank you guys for all of your support. Feedback in the comments definitely helps the channel to grow. I'm Reckless, and remember, own your success, and I will see you guys next time. generator should be straight ahead.